They had first appeared on his hand, and that's why he started wearing the glove. As you know, vitiligo, it takes away your pigment, and you'll have one part of you very light, almost like an albino, and the other part is natural. Michael being before the public, he didn't want to be spotted, so he went to dermatologists who sped up the process. So Michael went from black at 10 years old to white in his 40s. They say when he died, his body was chalk white. He was bald from the burn in his hair, so he wore a wig. And they say that the pain that he suffered from that burn is what started him on the pain medication. When Michael had Johnny Cochran as his attorney, I was in Los Angeles, staying at the home of the uh, health guru, uh, China, Dr. Tory. And Johnny Cochran called me. And he said, I need you to talk to Michael. He's really going through something. Well, I didn't know what Michael was going through. This was my first conversation with Michael. It was in the 80s. And when I talked to Brother Michael, he was in deep depression. And I said, Michael, out of our pain came our creative genius. I said, if it were not for the pain of slavery, we wouldn't have spirituals, nor would we have blues or gospel. All of it came from our pain. That great gospel song that Martin Luther King wanted to hear the, the night before he was killed, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, was written by a Chicago brother who had just lost his wife and in losing his wife he went into the room and his pain brought out that magnificent song. I said let your pain Michael serve your creative genius. That's all I said. After that Michael came out with the album called History. Now listen, this is serious. Because I didn't know what was giving him pain or who. But when he made that uh, history, he starts talking about the pains. History. How many victims must there be slaughtered in vain across the land? And how many struggles must there be before we choose to live the prophet's plan? Every day, create your history. Every path you take, you're leaving your legacy. Every soldier dies in his glory. Every legend tells of conquest and liberty. Don't let no one get you down. Keep moving on higher ground. Keep flying until you're the king of the hill. No force of nature can break your will to self-motivate. 
she say this face that you see is destined for history. Then he wrote, they don't care about us. They don't care about us. They who? See, he's sending his people messages out of his pain. They don't care. And some of you are dumb enough to think because we have a black president that they now care.